You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Huh. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver. There's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Ugh, 35's as low as we'll go. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go out, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tin Boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. But finding me proved no simple task, for having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. King of beggars, man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. On offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. 
Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Thirty-fives oh, as low as we'll go. Twenty-fives our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tramp. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tinloy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Rumble Who's time. this now? in there. Careful, there could be more in there. Follow me. This. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait. Tori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. I done. Geralt, you must help me. No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely. You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. Hmm. 
What? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers' turns. That is to say, he demanded a bonus, and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. The Passiflora's no vibrato is famous for that. see it in your face. But there's also triple kids. The rosemary. What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Smash! Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Geralt? You and the merchant. What was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that plowing rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet taught me at first. Skellige mead. We need barrels. We'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. Uh, mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. 